Canadians are now spending more time online than in front of their televisions, according to a new online poll, and that poses a challenge for advertisers. Teresa Lalonde has that story. Why have one screen when you can have two with keyboards? The internet poll shows last week those surveyed were online 18.4 hours and watched less TV, 16.9 hours. It is more of a guy thing. They spend more time in front of the computer screen than women. And it's also a younger demographic on the internet. These are people who live, work, and play online. And the first thing I always do is update my blog. And then from there, it'll be reading other people's blogs, reading the news online, uh, going to Canada.com and reading the Vancouver Sun in the province. And then from there, um, I'm on Twitter almost all the time. Kimley Welsh also watches TV through the internet and I can watch things whenever I want. Those TV shows make money selling ads. The question is, can they make the same amount of money selling ads online? Not yet, but one business analyst says they will soon because if you're online, advertisers can get to know a lot more about you. Based on the user's IP address, based on their location, based on their browsing history, uh, based on the frequency of their visits, you can show them different ads. Amber S. Chandra believes broadcasters will soon be able to charge advertisers more money to target market the online audience by showing a short ad before the program. I see more and more sites these days that actually can exploit this, that force you to sit through the ad. And I think users, if they don't have to pay a subscription fee, if they can watch their videos or their TV shows online, I think they're not unwilling to sit through ads. So, as the internet audience grows, expect advertisers to have a larger presence online. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.